Hey, 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 y'all. Welcome to the channel. For those of you that are new, welcome to Birth and Bosses with Felicia. I am Boss Lady Fee, guys. I know I'm kind of cut out of the camera, guys, and I did that purposely so that you can concentrate on what we are about to do, you all. If you have not watched my previously uploaded video, please make sure that you go back and watch the video from today and give it a thumbs up, guys. I was just showing you how I'm preparing to make 15 to 20 baskets at one time. And guys, we're gonna get started right away with doing three of those baskets, okay? So we're starting out with three baskets, or I'll call them unbaskets, guys, because these are not actually baskets. Let's bring the camera down. They're not actually baskets. They are bowls. And anytime I use any object or any um, container aside from a basket, I call it an unbasket. It's just the name that I came up with and that's what I use. All right, so if you ever hear me using that terminology, that is just something that I came up with. All right, I need to put it in the dictionary. <laughs> so we are gonna be making some unbaskets today, guys. And um, hopefully this paper will work right with it. I may. I may not even use any paper. Let's see. Let's try this without the paper. Sometimes you just need to use um, items without the pa without the paper. And I think that's what we're gonna do on this one. I gotta make sure I get all the tags off of these because this tag is hiding right on in with the print. And I don't wanna make a basket and then have to unwrap it once I see that the tag is still on. So y'all please be as cautious as you can. It happens to the best of us, y'all. I have definitely left tags on before. I get out selling and be like, oh my God, I forgot to take the tag off. But it, most of the time it's in a place that's not that visible and it has never stopped the sale. But at the same token, I don't wanna be selling something and look up there and see the tag on it, all right? So for these particular ones, I'm gonna use a dab of glue. It's not gonna damage the bottle nor is it gonna damage the bowl. This glue is gonna peel right off. It probably won't even stick. As long as it stick long enough for me to design the basket, guys, that's, that's all that matters, okay? And I'm just gluing it down. should have put the other one up there first all right so this is a um hand soap and like i said i just did a video explaining what everything was if you did not get a chance to see it please go back and view it and you'll be able to see and know what everything is in detail okay so what i'm gonna do this is a sticking anyway all i'm gonna do is put a dab of glue on the back of this all right that's all we're gonna do And part of the purpose for me doing this is because these two items do not sit well in this um, bowl because, of course, the inside of the bowl is limited as far as the space. Um, so it doesn't sit flush to the bottom of the bowl. So what we're going to do is just kind of come halfway in between and put a little bit of glue up there, y'all. It's nothing major nothing major at all and i'm gonna be using easter grass okay this is just shred all right i bought it during easter so it has easter on it but don't think that you just have to wait until easter to use the shred y'all all right so it turns out we did not need that um that newspaper the space is already limited. If I had to put the newspaper down, it would have given me even less space to work with. When gifts are simple, inexpensive, you wanna make the design simple, you wanna make the cost simple, you wanna make everything about a simple basket that you're not gonna be making much money. You wanna make everything about it simple, all right? From the wrapping to the um, purchasing the items, everything needs to be done on a simple, basic scale, all right? You're not making a lot of money. You still want it to look nice and neat, but at the same token, you're not making a lot of money, so you don't want to um, spend a whole lot of time, all right? Because time is money. I'm going to do the same thing. 
And although I'm talking and teaching at the same time, y'all see how quickly I am designing this, right? And if I wasn't doing a video, it would be even quicker than this. Not a whole lot of thought, not a whole lot of attention going into this. We just hidden it and we put it in. All right, moving on to the next one. Design three baskets and we still or unbaskets and we still have enough shred to probably do one or two more. All right, so don't over invest in your shred either. Don't put a whole whole lot, just enough to cover your um your holes. That's why I always teach um when you are doing gift baskets never to. I'm not gonna say never because I'm learning that people get offended when I say don't do this or don't do that. I'm just telling you what works for me and what works for me may not work for you. But I'm also not going to regress on the way that I teach either, okay? Because the way that I teach is the way that God has given it unto me. Um, so I'm stretching you all's faith. I'm stretching you all's um, creativity um, by telling you, and not only am I stretching your creativity, I'm helping you save money, all right? Once again, as I stated on the last video, um, my purpose on this channel is to bring you from one financial status in life to the next, okay? Been there, done that, all right? Section 8 food stamp, all of that, been there, done that, all right? And um, got a t-shirt for it, got the pictures for it, and everything. Still got EBT card, all right? Um, and I've moved from all of that to being self-sufficient, and the way I've done it is by the way that God has given me to run this business, okay? I didn't go to school. I didn't um, take any business classes, seminars. I did not learn from somebody on YouTube. I just got into YouTube, what, two, three years ago when I got on YouTube to um, start my channel. I've never been a YouTube watcher. So um, all of what I teach is God-given unto me, and I know that it is proven strategy. So I said all of that to say, when you are building your gifts, um, do not use shred to build your basket. Let's just say, for instance, I was going to be using this paper right here, right? This right here, will, even though, you know, this is not a proper, proper container to be using newspaper, you don't need newspaper for this. But let's just say, for instance, if you had this and you had this, all right? And let's just say you put this in here, all right? You wouldn't use your shred, which costs more money. More than likely, newspaper is free to you. If you're getting newspaper, it should be free. If you do not have a way to get free newspaper, just check with your local newspaper agency or go around to stores and just get their old newspaper, okay? But if you didn't have the newspaper and you was building it with shred, you would be using probably a whole pack, if not two, to build this item, to build your basket up. Build your basket up with strap paper or um, cardboard or cardboard paper, shipping paper, stuff that's inexpensive, guys, and then come in and fill in your holes with your shred, all right? Those are little tactics and, um, well, not tactics, but tricks, hacks, whatever for newbies um, so that y'all don't be spending so much money, all right? 
I'm on the channel to help you make money and help you save money. So with that being said, keep that in mind, guys, when you are designing not to um, use a lot of your shred and stuff on your baskets or under your baskets. Not under your baskets. Y'all know what I mean. Under your product. Okay, girls and guys. <laughs> and we just gonna wrap one up on the channel, all right? Because when you seen one, you seen them all. While you wait for me to wrap it, go right outside of this video, guys, and give it a thumbs up, please. Thank you. And if you aren't subscribed, please consider subscribing, guys. That way, you don't have to keep coming back, checking the channel to see if I put up any videos. You'll automatically get the um, notification that I um, have uploaded a video. If you're not subscribed, my question is, why ain't you subscribed? All right, very, very simple, y'all. Very simple. And of course, I'm at this table without my supplies. Because this is not where I'm supposed to be working at, y'all. <laughs> I can hear my husband now, y'all, if he was still living like, Alicia. I got that room in there straight for you to make stuff in that room. Now you all in here in the kitchen. Yeah, he used to tell me that all the time. He would um, clean up my craft room, organize my craft room so that I could get out of the kitchen because he said he was eating glitter. <laughs> he was eating. His food had glitter in it. He had glitter all over his beard and everything. So he's like, I'm going to keep these craft rooms organized for you so that you don't have to keep coming in his kitchen, so <laughs> God rest his soul, honey. I can imagine some of the things he would be saying now. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I miss him so much. Alright, y'all. And this right there. We good. We good. We good. We good. Of course, y'all, if I had my supplies in here, I would have used a piece of um, string or jute or something to um, hide it off. But since I don't, we're going to keep it moving. Oh, I know what. I was supposed to be adding these, y'all. That's what I was supposed to be doing. But I bet y'all don't open that back up. All right. But this is what I want to show y'all. All right. To make your your gifts look festive without buying so much Christmas stuff, get you some little dollar ornaments for, um, or hopefully there'll be a dollar soon. Um, but get you some little dollar 25 ornaments or go to Walmart or somewhere, get you some ornaments and just stick your little ornaments inside your bowl. But let me let you know another trick that's even greater than that. Don't put it inside the bowl, but you can wrap it up like this make your bow and let your ornament hang from your bow guess why guess why this is a greater way because let's just say but we already speaking by faith that you're gonna sell them but just in case you don't sell them my friend all you have to do is take that um all you got to do is take that ornament off that bow honey and bam you already got you a um gift basket ready for valentine's day okay you can add your little heart, a little stick of heart up there. You ain't even got to add a heart, y'all. I teach all the time. Holidays are not color coordinated or color, um, you know, you don't have to use certain colors. Even though they're, it's traditional to use red for Valentine's, red and pink. It's traditional to use red and green for um, Christmas, but not everybody uses those colors and not everybody's gonna be buying stuff with that color i love to use the example let me grab my twine y'all i like to use the scenario if you're buying a 
person a sweater for Christmas, right? When you go to the store to buy them a Christmas, are you necessarily going to buy a Christmas sweater or are you just going to buy them a sweater for Christmas? So therefore, it does not have to be Christmas themed just because it is a Christmas gift, all right? But of course, if you're going to um, craft fairs and stuff like that, you want your items to look, you want your table to look festive. So you're gonna have to make some of your products, at least some of them, um, look holiday related, all right? Also, when you're going out on the street to vend, you don't want to have a bunch of green and pink and all other colors on your table and then not have anything up there that looks like it's Christmas related because then that's gonna confuse people that's just passing by. Like, what is she really selling? Like, is she getting ready for Valentine's Day early or what? So you want to keep some things looking festive, y'all. All right? And just like that, come on, you two, get this storm down. <laughs> just like that, y'all. We got a cute little gift. And like I said, you can get this string here. Let me go on and do it for your honey. I like for you to be able to see it. Because I can get this twine to go through this. I, I should have known this was going to be a jerk. All right. Yeah, these are some great co-worker gifts. Some great um, teacher gifts. I mean, these gifts can be for all different kind of people for Christmas. Um, just, just cute. Cute and simple. Inexpensive, y'all. And there you got you a cute little Christmas gift. All right. All right, guys. Please give the video a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell, guys. And I will see you on the next video. Bye, y'all.